And I also recognize that in America, there was such a thing as an American dream. India doesn't have a dream. No other country has a dream. But this American dream is a dream not just of economic opportunity or success, but it's ultimately a dream where you can be the architect of your own destiny. Uh, America is a country where you can be in the driver's seat of your own life, in which your destiny is not given to you, it is constructed by you. I see a movement that threatens the very reason I came to this country. It threatens everyone's American dream. The DSA is the Democratic Socialists of America. Socialism, it's starting to get more popular in America. We are unstoppable, another world is possible. We have to say yes to socialism, to the word and everything. This is clearly the future. Democratic socialism. Uh, what's the difference? We got an early glimpse of what this socialist dream looks like during the coronavirus shutdown. We as a church were in danger if we met. I'm just preaching the word of God, and look at all these police cars here. We will shut you down. We will cite you, and if we need to, we will arrest you. A uh, Tampa Bay pastor has been arrested for violating coronavirus social distancing rules. Public health and safety groups are turning to drones to monitor public spaces and enforce social distancing rules. And I'm starting to feel like I'm in a communist country. There are powerful people in politics, in the media, and in Hollywood who want America to become the United States of Socialism. And if you disagree, they'll beat you into submission. My hands are being put in handcuffs. My ankles are shacked. In a period of 18 months, I went through 23 different audits or investigations. FBI, open the door. 29 FBI agents with assault weapons and hand grenades and a battering ram to smash in my front door. They even tried to overturn the 2016 election, a deep state cabal involving the FBI, the Justice Department, and the Obama White House set its sights on former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn until their plot was exposed. So you think this goes all the way up to the top to President Obama? Absolutely. Is this true? No president has ever tried to frame and entrap his successor. There are millions of Americans standing in the way of socialism and the deep state. And they have a trump card. America will never be a socialist country. He's a fighter with a peculiar talent for tagging his opponents. Slippy Joe, Minnie Mike, Crooked Hillary. Crazy Bernie. Crying Chuck with Shifty Shift. Nervous dancing. I think you should let me run the country. It's a lot easier to act presidential than to do what I do. Anybody can act president. <laughs>